Welcome to Nerdverse HQ. I will be your host this evening and today we will talk about everything releasing in the month of March, in streaming and in cinemas. Let's get started with one of the most awaited movies for the entirety of 2024. The second part of Jack, I I'm sorry Jack, I don't know how to say your second name, but Villeneuve. Villeneuve. Adaptation of Dune. Co-stars of the last movie, Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya will return. And they will be joined by big names like Forrest Pugh, Anya Taylor-Joy and Christopher Walken. As of now, the movie has 96% on Tomato Meter and 191 critic reviews. It seems very promising for fans of the first movie that will be returning to the planet of Arrakis. May thy knife chip and shatter. Following that up, we have two very different movies releasing on the same day. Kung Fu Panda 4 and Imaginary are both coming to cinemas March 8. Imaginary will turn one of the most innocent aspects of a child's life and turn it to a real-life nightmare, as it seems that the antagonist of this movie will be an imaginary friend. This movie is coming to us from the same producers of other horror greats, like Five Nights at Freddy's and Black Phone, and it promises to leave you scared every time you hear a child talking to his imaginary friend. But of course that the biggest release this day will be Kung Fu Panda 4. Eight years after Kung Fu Panda 3 release, we will see the return of first film antagonist Tai Lung, voiced by Yen McShane, and of course, Jack Black as the Dragon Warrior, Hope. You finally met your match, Chameleon. We're not so different, you and I. Stand back, I'm gonna kick my butt. 22nd of March sets the release of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the continuation of Ghostbusters Afterlife, that saw the movie franchise return to form after some lackluster movies and remakes. This direct continuation for the old movies will see the return of Bill Murray, Ernie Hudson and Dan, I'm so sorry Dan, A. Croydus as the original Ghostbusters. But we also got some big names returning and joining in, like Paul Rudd, Finn Olford from Stranger Things and Emily Helen Lynn from the Babysitter movies. This movie will ditch the small town formula from the previous one and bring the action to the Big Apple, New York. Heads up! It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. And what a better way to end the month than with two giant beasts teaming up. Godzilla and Kong, the new empire. Releasing March 29th and being the fifth entry in the Monsterverse, we will see Godzilla and King Kong teaming up once more to fight a colossal threat. This movie also promises to shed some light on the origin and some of the mysteries of these giant beasts, as well as the Skull Island and more. Following this up, we will talk about the streaming releases, where we will begin the month with a spin-off from a 2019 movie. The Gentleman comes in the form of a TV series, March 7 to Netflix, and we'll see Theo James as the show main character. Lapsang Su Chong. After this, fans will have the chance to watch or re-watch one of the Oscars nominees at home. Four Things comes to Hulu on March 7, just in time for the Academy Awards that will take place on March 10. The world is ours. We need more. No more. Oh. Any more is too much. On the same day, fans of the Stranger Things series will see the return of Millie Bobby Brown to Netflix, but this time as Princess Elodie on a dark fantasy movie called Danzo. And to the fans of Taylor Swift, on the 15th of March, you will be able to see Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour, on Disney+. Plus. This will include Cardigan and four additional acoustic songs. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm sure it's something extra and you like it. 
And to end the month in style, we have a remake from an 80s movie on Prime Video. Roadhouse is coming directly into streaming and, uh, and has a stacked cast with Jack Chillenhall and I actually can't believe I'm actually saying this, Conor McGregor co-starring the movie. This will be the UFC star first movie appearance and despite not seeing the movie this is based on, I feel that fans of the action genre will actually enjoy this one. Hey fellas! Looks like you're having a smashing night! Oh, I got a tip for you. Don't let no one get this close. Come on, bro. And that's it. This will be the movies, TV shows and even a concert of Taylor Swift that you can see on streaming and in cinemas on the month of March. What will you see first?